purpose and place. We have no great war, no great depression. Our great war is a spiritual war. Our great depression is our lives. People don't realize what they have. They bitch about it. I want you to fail, and I want you to get up and do it again. Fight with everything you've got. The world's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Imagine shooting a man with your last bullet, and he stands there, unfazed. Hard times create hard men. Hard men create soft times. Soft times create soft men. Soft men create hard times. This sucks, I'm drowning, I'm miserable, I'm suffering, I'm broken, but I'm not going in. Come back, motherfucker! What the hell are we gonna do without men? Look around the city here, you see all these buildings go up, these men, they're doing impossible things. They're under the streets, working on the sewers, they're up on the power lines, in the storms and the, and the rain. They're keeping this impossible infrastructure functioning, this thing that works in a miraculous manner. They work themselves to death. And often, literally, there's a massive infrastructure of unbelievably hard-working, solidly laboring, working-class men breaking themselves in half on a regular basis, making sure that everything that always breaks works. Failure gives you two choices. You stay down or you get up. Well, my guys, Michael Monsoor, that's what the Medal of Honor is to me. He jumped on a grenade to save three of our other teammates. And that's the Medal of Honor as far as I'm concerned. <laughs>